Hi there. In this video, we're going to take a look at some books, some of which are required, at least requires that you download them. First one is the Arduino Programming Notebook by uh, Brian Evans. And this is a very short book. It's 38 pages. And uh, I recommend that when you download it, you bind it. You can do that to get that done um, once you print it out uh, at the uh, print shop. And uh, this is something that I use on every time I program, basically. It gives a lot of the basic, um, basic formats for programming. It also has a very simple uh, schematics with the programming that you would use, say, to, in this case, a high current output in terms of maybe a, a, a relay or a motor or something like that. So this, you have to download it. You can use it. Um, as a PDF without actually printing it out, but I think printing it out for this is worth every penny. One of the books that comes highly recommended by uh, the Arduino people is this book called Physical Computing, and uh, it's, it's pre-Arduino. Um, it was published first uh, in 2004, co-authors Dan O'Sullivan and Tom Igo, who um, Tom Igo in particular um, is one of the main drivers of the Arduino, uh, the Arduino system. A lot of very basic information about electronics at the, at the beginning. If, um, if the videos that, that I've done aren't enough, then certainly uh, look online or, or look at books. So here's one I recommend. Uh, it's very easy to read and it's got a lot of stuff from uh, a little bit of programming, not Arduino specific, but basic programming stuff, as well as uh, electronics and also mechanics if you are doing um, robotics and that kind of thing. This is a book by Tom Igo. This uh, is um, uses uh, a lot of. Um, I think he does deal with some Arduino in here, but this is uh, more about uh, wireless issues. Haven't found this quite as useful as physical computing, but this is another one which is. A good book. Another one which is uh, recommended when I started learning about electronics. Um, this was before microcontrollers where stuff you had to use discrete um, chips. And this was the book that I used. Um, if you're doing uh, more advanced electronics, uh, you'll probably be sticking um, sensors uh, to the Arduino using uh, external chips and the CMOS system is what you'd be using and this uh, is a very good book to talk about the basics of uh, electronics with the CMOS uh, chips. Last thing, if you are, if you can prove to me that you've owned an ARRL handbook for six months before this course, you will get an automatic A+. This is proof that you are hardcore. Um, I'm old school. This is a 1998 ARRL handbook. Uh, this is the book that's used by radio amateurs um, to uh, learn about electronics. Pretty much everything that you would ever 
want or need to know about electronics is in this book. So that's it. A big stack of books. Uh, have fun.